Health Systems Research at UCD conducts research to better understand and ultimately improve all aspects of healthcare. That includes the people, the resources, the financing, the buildings, the technology, and all aspects of the infrastructure that contribute to improving healthcare. So some of the questions we aim to address in health systems research, for example, questions we're currently looking at, are things like, how can we reduce harm to patients? How can we improve the quality of healthcare? Another question we're looking at is how can we make the culture of healthcare more open and transparent so that people are comfortable asking questions. That might be a patient being able to ask a question about a decision in terms of their treatment or their drugs or medication, or it could be a junior doctor being able to ask a consultant why he or she made a decision. Another question we're looking at is in relation to patients who may be vulnerable, such as older and frail patients, and what is their experience like in hospital and how can we improve their experience. And related to that, we are looking at when patients need to make decisions and their capacity to make those decisions might be reduced for many different reasons, maybe because they're in the early stages of dementia or because they've had a brain injury and their communication skills aren't what they used to be. Really working with healthcare professionals to ensure that there are good guidelines in place that respect the wishes of those patients. Ultimately, we're trying to come up with solutions. So another aspect of health systems research is implementing those solutions and testing their effectiveness in the system. And this is very difficult because you have to do that while the system is still functioning, causing minimum disruption to patient care and to the healthcare professionals that are trying to do their jobs. So that leads us into a whole variety of different methods for trying to do this work. And we have developed and are continuing to develop many new methods of trying to get the right information and data we need from the healthcare system without causing too much disruption and minimising the potential negative impact while allowing us to get good data and information to understand healthcare better. Equally in terms of, I suppose, understanding health systems, because it consists of so many components, it's important to have many different perspectives. And there's a huge diversity in terms of the types of people and the backgrounds of the people coming into health systems. So you would expect that doctors and nurses and physiotherapists and healthcare managers and policy makers might have a contribution to make to health systems research. But so too do people with a social science background, psychology, architects, engineers, you know, people from business. Um, and we find that the health systems research area attracts all of those disciplines. If you're someone who shares our passion for improving healthcare, whether you're a recent graduate, a junior researcher, or more advanced in your career in thinking about a change into healthcare research, or whether you're a member of the public, or a patient, or somebody who's had experience of healthcare in any capacity and want to make a contribution, we'd love to hear from you.